So this is more of a thought experiment or a way of looking at the fretboard that you may or may not have thought about. Basically turning major into minor chords, what exactly is changing? For example, we have a C chord right here. It's an A-shaped C, and we know that if we want to do C minor, we're going to be doing this shape. The only note that's changing is this. That happens to be the major third. That's the minor third. So that is why if you move that one fret back from minor third, it turns it from a C major to a C minor. But here is the bonus. The same thing applies to scales, right? So if we have our major scale, that's a major pentatonic scale. And if you look at the scale pattern for a minor scale, that third is flattened as well as the seventh. So everything is pretty related to each other. When you figure that out, things will start to click a little bit better. For more tips like these, please think about subscribing. I have a new video out this Sunday that I think you're going to like. Thanks.